Good morning, Rosa Parks. Today is Thursday, December 12th, 2019. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Mrs. Konezny's class. Great job, Mrs. Konezny's class. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Today for lunch, we are having hamburger or cheeseburger, peanut butter and jelly encrustable with string cheese, potato smiles, my favorite, fresh fruit, and milk. We have two students celebrating a birthday today. A special happy birthday to Annabelle Crawford and a special happy birthday to Chance Weber. Both of you be sure to stop by the office for your birthday surprise. All right, it is time for our daily Fitbit moment. An active brain and an active body means we are ready to learn. Stand up, give yourself some space as we get fit. Good morning, boys and girls. Today, for our Fitbit moment, we're gonna do some arm circles and we're gonna practice um, doing small arm circles and controlling our arms. So I'm gonna flip the camera and here we go. So put your arms out. Let's do some small circles for 10 seconds. Here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, boys and girls. Let's remain standing for our moment of silence. Great job, boys and girls. At this time, please remain standing for our moment of silence. Boys and girls, we've been talking in the month of December about people that we can help. So today, I want us to think about how can we help our brothers or sisters? And some of you may say, but Mr. Turner, I don't have a brother or sister. Well, maybe that's a cousin or a close relative um, or another even student in our class. So let's take a few seconds and think about three ways that we can help our brothers or our sisters. All right, let's bow our heads and think quietly to ourselves. Let's bow. All right, I think some easy ways that we can help our brothers and sisters, especially if they're little, we can help clean up after them. So if they drop their toys, if they spill things, we can help clean up. Parents love that. It is really a great way to be helpful. We can help our brothers and sisters by teaching them things. So if you know all your letters, teach your brother and your sister your letters. If you have older brothers or sisters, read to them, ask them to read to you. Those are all great ways that we can learn uh, from each other and help each other. Our food drive is going great. And I realize I did not read the totals yesterday, but we had a huge change in our leaderboard. So yesterday we brought in cans of soup and we brought in almost 300 cans of soup, 295 to be exact, but nearly 300 cans of soup were brought in. That's fantastic. But with that, one class brought in 104 cans alone. That's phenomenal. Um, and so our leaderboards have shifted a little bit. In third place with 172 points, make sure you read right, is Mrs. Dooley's class. Great job. In second place with 191 points is Mrs. Garcia's class. And in first place with 235 points. Great job, Miss Arashiro's friends. So right now, Miss Arashiro's class has taken a pretty big lead um, after a great day of bringing in soup. But everyone has done a great job as we have already collected 1,574 items. That is going to help a lot of people this winter always have something to eat. I am so, so proud of you. Great job, boys and girls. Our, oh, I'm sorry. Well, let me go back. Um, tomorrow is our last day of our drive. Today you brought in boxed meals, which remember we said were meals that you just gotta pour a little stuff in, a little water, a little milk, and you stir it together and you make a meal. Well, tomorrow we're asking you to bring in um, dry beans or rice. So maybe boxes of rice, bags of rice, um, things like that, that 
will last a long time and help boys and girls who are hungry. All right. These L's are really starting to cause problems. You won't believe what I saw on the security camera. You won't believe it. They snuck into the conference room where I do announcements and where we have conferences and they were watching The Grinch. Look at them. And then I looked at a closer angle. They made a big mess because they broke into my snacks and are eating a bag of popcorn. Can you believe that? Those sneaky elves are watching movies at our school and they're eating a bag of popcorn while they do it. Whew. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Now, I assume a lot of you found them today because they actually decided to make themselves a little more comfortable. So they made their own little homes. But yesterday they were in the cafeteria and I know a lot of you saw them. And I was so impressed because so many of you just saw like little feet dangling from the um, top of the cage and you're like, they're over there. Um, make sure if you're paying that close of attention to the elves, make sure you're paying that close attention to your teachers. But remember, our elves are going to report back to Santa if we've been naughty, if we've been nice, if we follow directions, if we've shown respect. So make sure that you are showing respect, following directions, and making good choices. Oh, went the wrong way. There we go. All right, friends, it is going to be a fantastic Thursday. I am so proud of you. We've had some really great days. As always, don't forget to treat people right. and do the right thing. Shine brightly, stars. Have a fantastic Thursday. Bye, everybody.